How's this for a good news story? Meet 43-year-old Debbie Clark, who moved from Melbourne to Canberra more than two years ago. About 15 years ago, Debbie discovered she had two half-sisters who grew up in Canberra. Recently, she found out their names were Tracy and Jasmine. When I did find the names, that was when I hesitated for a long time, not knowing, because it's you're scared. You, know, you don't know whether there's going to be rejection, you don't know whether, you know, there's going to be that happy ending and you're hesitant. This week, Debbie took to social media in an attempt to find them. Posting to a Canberra Facebook group, Debbie asked the more than 36,000 members for their help. So many times thought, oh, yeah, I'll put something out there and then I thought, no, delete, delete, delete. And then I was just sitting on the couch and I was on the Canberra notice board and I just thought, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Within half an hour of posting to the page, the sisters were found. Meet Jasmine, Debbie's half-sister. Jasmine, who originally wasn't part of the group, was notified of the post within minutes. And it was interesting that just my, my sister Tracy was in Canberra on the weekend, just gone, and we were talking about this sister and wondered where she might be, and, and then days later, this came about. The pair met for the first time the next day, and it turns out they both lived in the same neighbourhood. Actually, just four kilometres away from each other. I have no doubt that we have both been in the same place in Canberra mm. at some point in the last two years. This interview with Fairfax Media is the second time the pair have met. Debbie's other half-sister, Tracy, has since moved into state, but the three plan to meet in the near future. And just to see the response of people from the Canberra Notice Board, they're watching this play out as well. And, you know, so many people are going, oh, this is giving me goosebumps and everything. I'm like, giving you goosebumps, it's <laughs> freaking me out. Now we're going to learn things about each mm. other. You know, so yes, we've missed out on so many years, but we've got so many years now to catch up on. In a country of more than 25 million people, Debbie's story just shows how well connected we are through social media. Been a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. That's what I can say.